In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Code Blocks, a great IDE for C, C++, and Fortran programming. So make sure you don't skip any part and watch all the way through. By the end of this video, you'll have Code Blocks fully installed and ready to go on your system. All right, let's get started with downloading Code Blocks. First, open your browser and type Code Blocks Download in the search bar. You should see the official website, codeblocks.org, right at the top. Go ahead and click on that. Now you're on the right page. Once you're here, the next step is to click on the download the binary release option. This will show you the available downloads for different platforms. Next, you'll need to choose the version that works for your operating system. Since I'm using Windows, I'll click on the Windows option. Here's an important part. You'll see two different setup files, but you want to download the one that includes MinGW. Why? Because MinGW comes with the GCC compiler that you'll need to actually run your code. So choose the setup file that says something like codeblocks-20.03 setup.exe. Now, when you click on sourceforge.net link next to the correct setup file, it'll take you to a page on sourceforge.net where the download will start automatically. You should also see a little thanks for downloading message pop up. And that's it. Your download will begin and you'll be ready to install code blocks with the GCC compiler included. Once the download finishes, you can simply click on the downloaded file right from your browser to start the installation. Follow the prompts, and you're good to go. You can either choose the default options for the installation directory and components, or if you prefer a different location, just click the Browse button to select your desired folder. Once you're ready, click Install, and the setup will take a few minutes to complete. When the installation is finished, launch code blocks. For me, it didn't ask to auto-detect compilers, but if it does for you, make sure to click yes. So it can automatically configure the GCC compiler that came with the setup. Now you're good to go. To test if everything's working, follow these steps. Click on File, New, Project. Then select Files. See C++ Source. Choose C as the language. After that, select a directory for your project. Give your file a name like First Program and save it. Once you've done that, click Finish and your project will be created. Once your project is created, I'll go ahead and write a simple Hello World program directly in the editor. After writing the code, I'll click the Build and Run button. You'll see Hello World printed in the console window, confirming that everything is set up correctly. You have code blocks installed and ready to use for your programming projects.